Hi, my name's Damien Wills, owner of the GoFly Group, and today we're going to be looking at the trial introductory flight. So what is a trial introductory flight? So basically it's a casual first flying lesson, just to see whether you actually want to continue flying a lot. Um, it's also a good opportunity to talk to your instructor, and just to ask them any questions you might have in relation to flight training. Now as far as the controlling the aircraft in flight, we have three main control surfaces. They are the elevator, the ailerons, and the rudder. And we control these through what we call either control yoke or the sling aircraft has what we call a control stick. And actually the control stick is linked to both the elevator and the ailerons and the rudder is linked to our rudder pedals. We also control how we steer on the ground, our nose wheel, via the rudder pedals as well. So before we're going flying, we actually have to give you what we call a quick legal disclaimer that everyone has to hear and see. So persons undertaking flying training and other types of flying in recreational airplanes are advised that there are risks involved. These risks cannot be specifically quantified. However, recreational airplanes used for pilot training are constructed, operated and maintained under exemptions from the regulations. These exemptions are from the regulations that apply to general aviation airplanes. While similar rule sets apply to our organisation and replace those that we are exempt from, it must be accepted that the overall safety of recreational flying is generally below the well-known commercial air transport standards in Australia. So it's very important when we're getting into the aircraft that you listen to the instructor on how to, to get into the sling aircraft or whatever aircraft you're doing your trial introductory flight on. For the sling aircraft, very important we don't put any weight on the canopy. We hold the handle here. We don't put any foot on the flap area here. It actually says no step. And we keep our foot to the black area on the wing here. We have a foot step here right foot there, very gently up onto the black. Both feet, take your time. These seats are designed to stand on. So what we do is we actually stand on the seat. We do not want to put any weight on the canopy, the back of the seat, or the front of the windscreen. So we stand on the seat, there's a T-bar handle here we hold. One hand here, straight down onto the seat without putting any weight on the back of the seat. Getting out the same way, both feet on the seat, standing straight up, slowly onto the black here on the wing, Hold the handle, right foot on the edge of the black, left foot on the step, and down nice and carefully. If you need assistance, ask your instructor. Okay, so with the seat belt, both feet very straightforward. We have the top straps here, bottom straps here. You've got two like rings here, so they need to go together like such. And this side of the seat belt actually threads through the middle of those two rings. Make sense? Put it together like such until you hear a click. Then we tighten the bottom bottom seat belt evenly with these two straps until it's firm but not too tight. Top strap, same again, after that's nice and firm. We pull on these to make it nice and firm but not too tight. When we're releasing the seat belt, very simple. That lever there releases the seat belt like such. As you can see, beautiful training area here. We're going to now look at the basic controls again. Uh -huh. So when we're flying, so if we, the horizon out the front is always our primary reference. So you always should be out there most of the time, okay? Yeah. So when, I, when you're touching the controls, you just need to do it very gently. So one thumb at the back and three fingers at the front. I'll just demonstrate each basic control surface right now. Uh -huh. When I move the control column rearward, just very gently, the nose will pitch up in relation to the horizon. Look out the front, the gap gets smaller. Yeah. At the same time, we start to slow down, and we also start to climb slightly as well. Okay. When I move the control column forward, the nose pitches down in relation to the horizon. The gap between the nose and the horizon gets bigger. We start to speed up. We can see our airspeed here speeding up, and we start to descend as well. Okay. Just going to go back up to the aircraft out here. Going to go back up to uh, we're maintaining level now. So at the moment, we're maintaining level height. We're not climbing and descending, and we're not rolling to the right and left. With that control column, when I move the control column to the right, our eyes out the front, the aircraft rolls to the right, like such. Coming back to wings level with the horizon now, and when I move the control column to the left, the aircraft will roll to the left. And coming back to wings level now. With the rudder, when I apply pressure on the right rudder, the nose of the aircraft will roll to the right. 
Come on, I apply pressure on the left rather, the nose wall, you're to the left. What I want you to do now is just come on the controls just gently with your left hand. Yep, that's it, that's exactly how you should hold it. Now just, just move the control column gently rearward. And we can watch the nose pitching up, fantastic, good, just hold it there. And now move the control column forward gently and we can see the nose pitching down in relation to the horizon. Pretty good. Very cool. Right, now we're just going to bring it back to what we call level. So we hold it about there, and that keeps the aircraft level. Now just gently, you have control again. Wait, I have control? You have control. No, I have, you have control? I have control. Oh, good. Just make sure you, you know you got control. <laughs> okay, so move the control gently to the right. Aircraft rolls to the right. Yeah, good. Now bring it back to wings level. Yeah, bring it back the other way to wings level. Good. Now gently move the control column to the left. And we roll to the left, pretty straightforward. Yeah. Good. I have control. I've got the main control for you. You come on the rudder, rudder pedal for me. I just apply pressure on that right rudder pedal for me. Zero. Look at the nose gently yawing to the right. Feel that? Yeah. Now apply pressure on the left rudder. One, two. A bit more. And the nose is gently yawing to the left. Good. I have control. Just going to turn around, clear my left, clear my centre, clear my right. Have a good look out of the view while we're turning. Is it what you imagined, Sophie, your first lesson? Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing really well. So we're going to look at now, depending on the, on the student on their first attempt, if they're really comfortable with what I just showed you, um, I'm going to now attempt to make a couple of controls and just keep it level for me. So what we want to see is, just keep that gap about the same. Yep. Well, we say couple of controls. Okay. I have control. You've got control. Just keep it there. Just fly along level for a bit. So we want to keep that gap between the nose and the horizon about that distance. Yep, that distance. That's perfect. So what I'm going to do now is just a, a gentle turn to the right. I talk you through it, and I'm going to be with you on the controls. Okay. Right. So this is giving you a feel of what it turns like. But before we turn, we have a good look out. Clear my left. Clear my centre. Clear my right. No aircraft, eyes forward. So just gently move the control column to the right. So rolling, and just bring that back to the central position. We don't want to keep moving it right, otherwise we'll keep rolling. Yeah. And now we're in, a, in a, a nice stable bank turn, bank turn. Not that hard, is it? Yeah. Up in the controls, back to, wings back to the level. Good, we'll try one to the left. So we're going to clear my right, clear my centre, clear my left. Always have a good look out. Eyes at the front as you turn. Move the control gently to the left. Hold that angle about there, it's perfect. You sure you haven't done this before? <laughs> I'm glad it looks like that. Yeah, okay, good. You're doing really, doing really, really well. Okay, now move the control column. It's very light movement. Yep. Well, so if you, what did you think of your first lesson? That was wicked. <laughs> so you think you want to continue to, to learn to fly and do more lessons? Definitely. Okay, fantastic. So thanks for joining us today and I hope you really enjoy your first uh, trial introductory flight.